Happy Saturday, everybody. Starting the weekend off here. As you guys know, by the time this video posts, I'm probably uh, either driving to the second show or I'm already at it. But I'll definitely get a lot better footage because I'm not set up at either of these shows this weekend or today. And I can actually walk through and, you know, look at stuff, get some uh, good, better video. I gotta remember, GoPro has small screen, but when you transform the video, it's big screen on TV. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know how many people have seen this. I'm going to pull it up on the screen here. This has been floating around for about a week, and I keep pushing the video because other stuff's come out. So, if you look in the bottom right, that's the downtown Justin Herbert this year. The individual that owns the other three pictures there is claiming that Panini stole his artwork of his charger dude. I don't know what they want to call it. Now, as you look at his pictures, there's really no NFL stuff on it other than the lightning bolts. And a dude, it looks like he's a Charger guy. Kind of made the helmet look similar and stuff. Destroying the Ravens, the Seahawks, whatever it may be on there. Well, if you look at the little lightning bolt dude, they're kind of similar in each one. So if you go to the bottom left one, you can notice on the downtown Herbert, he's on the bottom right. Just different color jersey and a little bit of different, you know, stuff on to it. If you go to the top right picture in the downtown, it's in the top right too, but they kind of did like a reverse flip on to it if you look at, see what I'm saying. It's kind of like a reverse negative. And I don't know really how to say it, but um, if you remember back in 89 Upper Deck, how the Dale Murphy uh, reverse negative errors, that's kind of like what that is there. I mean... And the same thing with the top left hand. You can see it middle on the middle left on the downtown. And they kind of did like a little bit of a flip uh, onto that too. Like a, a reverse negative or reverse whatever they call that stuff onto it. So I, I, he's saying nobody ever paid him for his artwork. We're back into this stuff again. Again, I have no idea what all you need for laws and stuff like that on to it. I don't know what's all transpired of it, what Panini's done about it. Are they paying the dude? Are they like, hey, just take us to court because we changed color and all this other stuff on it. I know a couple people in, in, that subscribe to the channel, you guys um, either have a law background or somewhere into it to where you guys will know more on it, I'm sure. I'll be thankful, too, with you guys writing a big, long explanation, because I remember we talked about this with the HGA stuff a while back. Um, but, <laughs> kind of funny that somebody's like, hey, man, your artwork's on this here produced by Panini. And the guy lost his mind. He's like, somebody owes me money. Well, if that's your artwork and it's trademarked or whatever else there is on to it, it keeps it's not like... What is the word I want to look for here? Um, creative Commons or something like that there. Maybe they do owe you something on to it. My second point is, because this is all floated up, and let me know what you guys think. If, <laughs> does this make the downtown Herbert more collectible or more <laughs> going to be worth more money now? A lot of people have been in a big discussion about this Um well, I see it on Facebook and IG where they're like, oh, it's a more valuable car because it has stolen artwork in and stuff. I don't know. To me, it's still Justin Herbert's downtown. I mean, the artwork on it's there. I mean, what can they really say? It's already put in production. You can't get those cards back. Maybe they'll... St I mean, all they, they already produced all these. They're all floating around somewhere. I don't think there's any more waves of anything like there was back in the day, like first wave NT, second wave Flawless... You know, stuff like that there. But I just kind of thought it was kind of unique. I've seen it being popped up, still talked about. Figure I'd see how many people out there saw this. Do you think Panini stole it? You know, do you think the guy's going to get paid for it? I, I mean, I have no clue on to it. I just thought it was quite interesting that, you know, this has been thrown around in forums, um, Facebook groups, Instagram. I think even Twitter had something on it now, too. And if you haven't seen it now, at least you'll uh, have something on the background of it that, you know, if people are talking about it, like, oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know, type deal. Because I'll tell you, I can't tell you how many times I've gone somewhere and people are starting to talk about it. Like, where did you guys hear this at? 
And it's just so funny. They're like, oh, it's on so-and-so's IG post or Twitter. And I'm like, huh? And they show it to me. I'm like, huh, that's kind of strange. I've never even heard about this anywhere else. But, you know, it's just odds and ends that you hear out there and see. And it's just, it's out there no matter what. But, <laughs> I'm just wondering how many more people started buying Justin Herbert downtowns. I should have looked on eBay. Actually, let me pull eBay. Let's just see here. This has been going on for a week. And this is... This year's... Let's see if it's really gone up. I'll pull it up here. Hold on. Eight fifteen, eight sixty, five ninety nine, ten six thirty, eight hundred, seven hundred, six twenty. Eh, I don't know if it, if they actually pumped it up or not, because it looks like they were pretty solid around six hundred ish. And you start going up, he has playing better first two weeks. I know, not like he's been like superstar to where he's getting six touchdowns, but he still had three hundred yards in each game, which could have helped some of the prices on here. Yeah, we'll just call it 800 now. So it did get bumped up a little bit. Nothing crazy stupid where people are trying to pump it up. And this is one of those things where they're SSP or SP, whatever you want to call it. So there's not, you know, going to be 10,000 of them out there. But that's pretty much it, everybody. Um, hopefully I found some good stuff at the show, at least some good footage by now. I'll get those videos posted out next week. Other than that, you guys have a good, safe weekend. I'll be keeping a watch on the football games tomorrow. And then um, Tuesday, I'll do who the winner was on the uh, football thing as well, too. I'll do like a small video on to it. Might be one of them double video days. All right. I'll see you all next video.